Welcome to DBM's new series of videos, comparing the performance of different GPU servers to help you make an informed decision based on your server needs. Today, we will start with the Express GPU P1000 and the basic GPU GTX 1650. Let's dive right in and compare these two hot GPU servers. First, let's discuss our Express GPU P1000, which has 32GB RAM, 8-core Xeon E52690, and 120GB plus 960GB SSD. This GPU is part of the professional-grade Quadro series by NVIDIA. It boasts 640 CUDA cores, which are optimized for professional workloads. And P1000 is equipped with 4 GB of GDDR5 VRAM, FP32 is 1.894 teraflops. You can use it to run Android emulators, video editors, live streaming software, and drawing software smoothly. If you want to know more detailed information, please go to this website to check. Now, let's shift our focus to our basic GPU GTX 1650, which has 64GB RAM, 8-core Xeon E52667 V3, 120GB plus 960GB SSD. This GPU is a mid-range graphics card designed for gaming and multimedia applications by NVIDIA. It is based on the Turing architecture and features 896 CUDA cores. GTX 1650 comes with 4GB of GDDR5 VRAM, and FP32 is 3.0 teraflops. With a wider memory bus and a higher FP32, it offers superior gaming performance compared to the P1000. If you want to know more detailed information, please go to this website to check. After we know the basic configurations of the two servers, we log into the two servers and test the performance of running different instances on LD Player. Running empty instances on emulators doesn't significantly stress either the CPU or the GPU. On Express GPU P1000, running 20 instances in LD Player, the CPU usage is only around 30%, the RAM usage is 98%, and the GPU usage is only 3%. On basic GPU GTX 1650, running 45 instances of LD Player at the same time, the CPU usage is only around 15%, the RAM usage is 98%, and the GPU usage is around 5%. For YouTube-type lightweight software, both servers are capable of smooth video playback. On Express GPU P1000, running 18 YouTube and LD Player, the CPU usage is 10% to 20%, the RAM usage is 98%, and the GPU usage is only 3%. On basic GPU GTX 1650, running 40 YouTube of LD Player at the same time, the CPU usage is only around 15%, the RAM usage is 98%, and the GPU usage is only 1%. Lightweight games like Monopoly Go can also be run simultaneously. On Express GPU P1000, running 7 Monopoly Go and LD Player, the CPU usage is 100%, the RAM usage is 55%, and the GPU usage is 80%. On basic GPU GTX 1650, running 12 instances of LD Player at the same time, the CPU usage is more than 90%, the RAM usage is 44%, and the GPU usage is around 80%. If you need to run heavyweight games, such as PUBG, the basic GPU GTX 1650 has better performance, and you can enjoy clearer game graphics and a smoother gaming experience. The memory, CPU, and GPU of basic GPU GTX 1650 are more than enough to run one PUBG. Due to the limited video duration, we only tested the performance of the Android emulator and games today. Actually, both of these two servers are good choices for Android emulators, gaming, video editing, OBS streaming, and drawing workstations. Your choice should be based on your specific needs and budget. If you like our video, please give us a like and follow us for more exciting content. Don't forget to leave a comment.